YouTube or good afternoon, whatever time you you watching this. Um, yesterday was interesting, so I went down to the shop. I had to link up with my boy Rich Love. Um, you might have seen some of the music videos that me and him have like worked on together. I think we did like three or four at this point, and more to come. Um, but he told me he needed some some photos um, for a project that he's working on. So I went down there, uh, took the drone out, um, grabbed some shots. You know what I mean? Just got around the city and just wanted to practice like my 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 vlog muscle. You know what I mean? Just get used to dropping that type of content. Finally have a setup that I kind of like. You know, it'll work for right now. I don't want to be too. Um, I didn't want to be too anal about the the background. I just want to make sure I get it done. Um, so yeah, so we can jump straight into the footage from yesterday, and I'll see y'all in a bit. <laughs> And real quick before I get this uh, thing on the road, just do a quick shout out, just give a quick shout out to Exact Life. It used to be Exactly, they sent me out, uh, hold on, let me start this up. Uh, shout out to Exactly, Exact Life. Um, they changed their name, they did some, some rebranding during the pandemic, let's turn this off because that's blowing all hot air. Um, they did some 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 rebranding during the pandemic. They sent me out a book bag, a book bag, um, I have some earbuds, I have the wireless earbuds, and I have two chargers. Um, so I'll show you guys some of that, uh, or you guys will actually be seeing that at some point um, throughout the videos, because I use their stuff a lot. Um, it has like a, I, 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 I'll probably have to do a designated video on it, but like I said, quick shout out to Exact Life and, um, and Scott. Big shout out to Scott too, man. Hope everything is well, hope the company is doing well, and uh, talk to you guys soon. Uh, well, Exact Life, hopefully. This video is still going, so you can just like follow me to the gas station or whatever. All right, so I just pulled up to the gas station, and this is where I be getting like all of the fire photos of these old schools that I be catching. Like they always got something different up here. I took a picture. I'm not even sure what it is. Let's go see what it is. The the Chrysler that I took pictures of is actually over there, and uh, there's another one over there. But yo, they always be having bangers. But I'm just stopping here. I want to give me a Red Bull real quick, and we on to the shop. Then, uh, Thank you, brother. Man, I'm telling you, I'm gonna buy one one day. I'm gonna have one. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Okay? Yo, one of the craziest things is like realizing that. I'm gonna turn this air back on. It's a little bit chilly. This is like, it's crazy out here. The humidity is ridiculous. But, like I was about to say, the one thing about actually like starting is the fact that once you get started, it's not that bad. I should have been doing this. Hey, I ain't get in here yet, I knew it. So, of course, I walk in there. Make sure my mic is on. It's on. He ain't there yet. And I'm losing all this. I need an ND filter for this lens, but I don't know what to do. But yeah, I guess we'll just fly the drone and see what we can do. One thing I definitely know, uh, excuse me, is that I should not be drinking the largest fucking Red Bulls they have in the store. What do you do? So, I had this problem last time. All right, so for all of my drone users, drone flyers, one thing that I didn't realize, if you've ever gotten the freaking 
iPhone memory, you need to clear some space message. Every time you fly your, your drone, your, if it's a DJI drone, every time you fly, it adds that flight log into the app. So when I went to go look at it, I had 10 gigabytes just in that app. So I had to offload the app completely and erase it basically, and then re-download it, which I'm currently doing right now. So as soon as we get that back up and running, I'll be able to get back up in the air and uh, see what we can get. <sighs> Look like it's gonna be a while with this app. And that's another thing, man. I guess I'm gonna actually really have to get my drone license because I don't know what the rules are here in Baltimore and I'm bound to get in trouble eventually. We always have like helicopters flying around um, at about the same altitude that I would fly my drone. And I'm not trying to get any fines. I'm not trying to cause any crazy accidents because it's, it's really scary when you have your drone up uh, and you see a manned aircraft signal coming up on the screen. It's almost like there's no safe time to really put your drone in the air in Baltimore, in my opinion, just because at any given time you could see a chopper and they circle around. They do, it's, it, it gets wild. I'm gonna fly my drone down Federal, Federal Street. But this is actually where my family grew up and I just wanna get some cool shots, kinda just to show that. I might use it for a later project or something like that, but you know, I think when I'm out doing these types of things now is I need to start taking that time to myself to make sure that I uh, get extra content, get things that, you know, even if I just have a folder of all drone shots that I can pick from later, if I ever need to add something to an edit, this guy's not picking his feet up, so I apologize. Hopefully this app is downloaded. Well, I just know the bottom of them shoes about to just, 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 go, just be gone. It's downloaded now, so let's get this drone in the air. Do I have a memory card in my drone? Oh, I got 20 minutes on here, so we good, we good, we good. All right, bet. Um, let's get it. All right, let's get up. You're not gonna go too high just because I don't feel like dealing with, like I said, helicopters, anything like that. We just gonna take a ride straight down Federal Street. I got it in sport mode too. Let's take it to normal. things that I like about Baltimore to be honest that I, I, I think a lot of people miss and you can see it even through these shots is that like this is really a colorful city um, that's one of the things like growing up that I really liked about it as far as one you'll see murals and things like that painted everywhere um, as you're just driving through the city but at the same time uh, even if you just see like these shots right here the houses are painted in these very vibrant um, whether it be yellow orange uh, red, blues, those types of colors were used on the house, on the homes here, uh, painted brick. And I just think it, it's a very unique, dope thing about the city, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I don't know what everybody else's city is like. I'm from Baltimore, so I don't know what it's like everywhere else, you know? But that's definitely one of the things that I admire about being here. And, uh, you know, see, I just got that notification again. I have my drone straight up here, and there's a there's a chopper right over there, so circle around. So I'm gonna bring this thing back. I'm not even sure if y'all can hear that. Now the, now the chopper's right over here next to me. And he just, he just gave me the alert, manned aircraft. Little right here. Alert, manned aircraft nearby. Yeah, so. 
that's why I always feel a way about like flying my drone here in the city. Um, but you know, I'm just gonna take this time as we wrap this video, probably go back, put it together, whatever. But um, what I really want to talk about is like, hey, this video is is me trying to prove to myself that I can actually be consistent, that I can put together a vlog, that I can put together, I've put together so many projects in my life, but then it's like when I try to put together one for me, it doesn't come together. So this is me doing that, and this is to all creatives, if you're watching, um, if you have any type of creative mind or anything like that, you've probably felt a way before of just not knowing what to do. Um, but if you have an idea of where you want to be, uh, you just have to figure out where to start. And for me, it, the start button is literally that record button um, and the next start after that is you know from the camera to the computer from the computer to me opening up that project in uh, Adobe or whatever editing that thing out I gotta I gotta always make a step towards that next one in order for me to finish so we'll finish one and then we'll finish two and so on and so forth uh, hopefully you guys enjoy some shots maybe i'll put some random shots here just to end the video um and yeah man i look forward to seeing y'all in uh in the next one all right yeah so it was a little bit of a long vlog but hopefully you know you guys enjoyed it I know there are some people out there that understand exactly where I was coming from, just as, you know, being a creative and getting caught in that creative process. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit a like, drop a comment, um, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And don't forget to hit that little notification bell right up there. Uh, I think it's there. Or it's on one of those sides, but just so that way you can get notified every time I drop a video. Um, and until the next one, I'm Dev Dooley. Peace out.